In electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, a proton on an aromatic ring is replaced by a potent electrophile. In all EAS reactions, the aromatic ring acts as a nucleophile. In EAS sulfonation, a sulfonic acid group is installed on the ring. This reaction requires sulfur trioxide and sulfuric acid, and this reagent combination is sometimes referred to as fuming sulfuric acid. The reaction begins with the protonation of sulfur trioxide by sulfuric acid. This generates a potent electrophile for the EAS reaction. A pi bond of the aromatic ring then attacks sulfur, which allows pi electrons to be pushed onto oxygen to neutralize its charge. Note that some texts show the direct attack of the aromatic ring on sulfur trioxide rather than on its conjugate acid. The result in either case is the formation of a sigma complex in which a carbocation resides on the ring. The sigma complex has a total of three resonance forms. The red pi electrons can be shifted over one bond to delocalize the plus charge to a new location on the ring. And finally, the green pi electrons can also be shifted over one bond to delocalize the carbocation to yet one more unique ring position. Finally, the reaction concludes with the loss of a proton from the only ring carbon of the sigma complex that is sp3 hybridized. This restores aromaticity to the ring and in this case yields benzene sulfonic acid. Now let's turn our attention to some specific examples with regiochemical considerations. For instance, Acid analyd can undergo sulfonation to form the ortho and para products. The initial attack of the ring on the potent electrophile could place the sulfonic acid group in the ortho, meta, or para position of the sigma complex. Since the ortho and para pathways are electronically equivalent, we can simply examine one of them to determine why they are favored in this particular reaction. In this instance, the ortho sigma complex has been shown. This sigma complex has the expected three resonance forms that delocalize the charge around the ring. But importantly, this sigma complex has one additional resonance form in which the amide nitrogen donates its lone pair of electrons into the ring, allowing the plus charge to be delocalized to one new position outside the ring. When the positive charge is delocalized onto the nitrogen, this resonance form is particularly stabilizing because all of the atoms of the sigma complex possess a complete octet in this particular resonance form. The reaction concludes with the loss of a proton from the only ring carbon of the sigma complex that is sp3 hybridized. This restores aromaticity to the ring and forms the ortho substituted product. The para product is formed through a very similar mechanism. We may expect the para product to be more prevalent than ortho because the para product is free from steric hindrance. If we scrutinize the meta pathway, it will become clear why it is not favored in this particular reaction. The initial attack of a pi bond of the aromatic ring on the potent electrophile could generate a meta sigma complex. However, this meta-sigma complex has only three resonance forms. There is no opportunity for the amide nitrogen to further delocalize the positive charge, 
and consequently the resonance hybrid for the meta pathway is higher in energy making it less favorable than the ortho and para pathways. Now let's consider the sulfonation of methylbenzoate which affords the meta substituted product. Notice that this reaction has the opposite regioselectivity from the previous example. The initial attack of the ring on the potent electrophile could place the sulfonic acid group in the ortho, meta, or para position. The meta sigma complex is shown here. This sigma complex has three resonance forms. Notice that none of them place the positive charge at a location that is adjacent to the ester bonded to the ring. This will be important later when we compare this pathway to the ortho and para pathways. Again, the reaction concludes with the loss of a proton from the only ring carbon of the sigma complex that is sp3 hybridized. This restores aromaticity to the ring and in this case yields the meta product. If we consider the ortho or the para pathway, we'll be able to see why those products do not predominate in this particular reaction. Shown here, the initial attack of the ring on the potent electrophile could form an ortho-substituted sigma complex. And this sigma complex also has three resonance forms that delocalize the charge around the ring. However, notice that one of them places the carbocation directly adjacent to the carbonyl carbon of the ester substituent. Furthermore, this carbonyl carbon is partially positive, and therefore there is a repulsion between these two adjacent centers having similar polarities. As a result, the ortho and the electronically equivalent para pathway is not favored. It's also important to note that sulfonation is the only EAS reaction that is readily reversed. For instance, benzene sulfonic acid can undergo desulfonation or the loss of the sulfonic acid group when treated with dilute aqueous sulfuric acid. The reaction begins with the protonation of benzene sulfonic acid to generate a sigma complex. The ring could be protonated in any of its six positions. However, only protonation at the carbon bearing the sulfonic acid group will lead to an observable transformation. As expected for any sigma complex, this sigma complex also has three resonance forms that delocalize the positive charge to three locations on the ring. Normally, EAS reaction concludes with the loss of a proton to restore aromaticity to the ring. However, in this case, it is possible to lose the sulfonic acid group instead. That leaving group's dissociation also restores aromaticity to the ring. And the leaving group itself is resonance stabilized. In summary, EAS sulfonation replaces a proton on an aromatic ring with a sulfonic acid group. When the reactant has a substituent on the ring, the relative stabilities of the carbocation intermediates determine whether ortho and para or meta products will be favored. The sulfonic acid group can also be removed through a process known as desulfonation, and this involves treatment with dilute 
aqueous sulfuric acid. The ability to add and then later remove the sulfonic acid group makes it useful in syntheses, where it may sometimes be desirable to block one position, such as para, in order to allow substitution at another position, such as ortho. For example, the direct bromination of acid analyd will yield a mixture of the ortho and para products. Furthermore, it is the para product that would be expected to predominate for steric reasons. However, if the desired product were the ortho regioisomer, we could first block the para position through sulfonation. Again, the major product of this first EAS reaction of acid analyd is the para product for steric reasons. Then, that major product with the sulfonic acid group in the para position can be brominated. Bromination will place the bromine ortho relative to the amide. Finally, desulfonation will yield ortho bromo acid analyd. It's a useful exercise to examine the resonance forms of the sigma complex for the bromination reaction because they will explain why the bromine ends up ortho to the amide and meta to the sulfonic acid group. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.